YouTube, 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 it's your boy Chris Anthony back at it again with another banger for your head top. In today's video, I want to go over with you guys all the indie games or small development team games that were announced in this year's first day of Gamescom 2024. Up first, we got a brand new studio called Fuzzybot. They're releasing their first game ever called Linked Banner of the Spark. Linked is set to release October 22nd, 2024. Yes, this year. Check it out. Next up, we got Torn Banner Studios with their highly anticipated zombie apocalypse game, No More Room in Hell 2. No More Room in Hell 2 has no release date as of right now, but it's set to release either late 2024 or early 2025. So if you're into that kind of game, you might want to check this one out as well. Be on the lookout for an announcement. This one here is probably one of my favorites. From Tarzier Studios, the development team that brought you Little Nightmares 1 and 2, they ventured off into a new game. Same genre. The game is called Reanimal. So if you like the Little Nightmares games, this might be another one just for you. As of right now, Reanimal has no release date with the possible release in 2025. Check out the trailer. Nothing lasts forever.
Speaking of Little Nightmares, Little Nightmares 3 got another new trailer at Gamescom. This is a game that we're all excited for if we like this series. Only thing that changed is now Supermassive Games is in control of all the development. Tarzier is no longer involved, but Supermassive is trustworthy because they brought us the Dark Anthology series, so let's hope they can put out another banger for our head tops. As of right now, the only thing we know is Little Nightmares 3 is set to release in 2025. Outside of that, there's no actual date. Check out the new trailer. Now this one here is a third game of an ongoing series. Brought to you by us two studios, we got Monument Valley 3. And unfortunately, if you like these kind of games, well, I got some news for you. This one's set to exclusively release on Netflix gaming only this year, December 10th, 2024. Check out the trailer. Now, this next one is near and dear to my heart from one of my favorite indie studios, Akamotive. They created the FAR gaming series, meaning FAR loan sales and FAR changing tides. Both phenomenal games. They released a new trailer for their upcoming game called Hurdling with a unique art style and a release date that has yet to be announced. Check out the new trailer for Hurdling.
So here we have another brand new studio. The studio is called Reflector Entertainment, and this is their first ever game coming very soon. The game though is published and backed by Bandai Namco, and it's called Unknown 9 Awakening. Check out the detailed trailer right here. I've been here before, in the fall. I was who I might become. All possible futures existing in motion. It is time to awaken. And it is my duty, my journey, to step into the unknown. And last but not least, we have a Souls-like looking game, if you're into that kind of thing. The game is developed by Nipal, and it's called The First Berserker Kazan, set to release in 2025 with no actual date as of yet. Check out the new trailer. The two wolves who defeated the beast will tear into the neck of the aged lion. For years, I faced unrelenting fury countless sacrifices and the result of my devotion was betrayal Join me, Blade Phantom. Then I will help you. And that's it for the indie games and small development team games from day one of GamesCon 2024. If you guys want more insight on what you missed, let me know down in the comments below. Because I'm Chris Anthony, your indie guide, and you know the vibes, baby. Peace.